in Louisville, we get a little bit of snow, but if you lived in Maine in 1901 and you were in the logging business, the snow made your job hard. Well, that was before the invention of the Lombard steam hauler. Hang around, I'm gonna tell you about it today on Steam Culture. Now the Lombard steam hauler was patented by Alvin Orlando Lombard, 1901 in Maine. He was a blacksmith who worked in the mining industry. Now the vehicle was the first commercially successful application of a continuous track drive for vehicle propulsion. In fact, it was so successful that it was the platform that tanks in World War I were built on. So the steam hauler was used all year round, but it was really designed to be used in the heavy, heavy snows in Maine. It was a significant improvement over the prior application, which was oxen or horse-drawn sleds. And Lombard estimated that what would cost $100 for horse and oxen sled would cost eight to $10 with the steam hauler. So here's what you need to know about the hauler. It used a 100 horsepower boiler, regular locomotive boiler sat in a saddle system, but it was fitted with a suction hose to take water from springs or streams that they would encounter in the forest. Burned wood, which of course made sense because they were in the woods, and it would haul 20,000 feet of lumber two times a day down their seven mile logging road. Now, interesting, is the guy in the front steering the hauler had the most dangerous job. He was kind of the hero because when they would go downhill, there's no braking system. So a lot of times that would lead to jackknifing. So how would you like to be steering that and turn around and see the whole load of logs passing you on the way down the hill? Pretty scary stuff. Also pretty scary stuff is that the guy sat right in front of the stack for the boiler. So pretty common that his clothes would catch on fire because he had to pay absolute attention to what he was doing. So eventually, as you can see in the videos, they started putting canopies uh, above the guy to protect him from the hot ash that's just constantly flying out of the stack. Now, there is a great video on this that it's uh, from a museum in Maine and someone is actually walking through the design. We're gonna include it in the link down below for you. I'd like for you to watch it. I think you're really gonna enjoy it. So while you're out there on the internet watching the link, Google us because we're going to have some content for you just like we do each and every week. Hope you enjoyed the episode on the Lombard Steam Hauler. Great part of our history. Hope you enjoyed it. I will see you next week.